it's on it's uploaded somewhere um, in the in your new playlist so it is available for you so I'm just but I'm gonna follow along the steps all right remember when we talked about implied domain the implied domain is going to be all the values that are going to make um, that we plug in for x that's going to give us real numbers for f of x right so we talked about our two restrictions what are some two times where when we plug in a value of x we're not going to get a real number f of x the two examples were if we plug in a number into our denominator and that makes our denominator equal to zero do we have the option to plug in numbers to make our denominator equal to zero yes we have the option over here and we have the option over here both of these we could plug in numbers that can make them zero right so the first thing you do to identify um, your domain is set your denominator equal to zero so if you have a denominator set it equal to zero because we want to find the values that make the denominator equal to zero the values that make the denominator equal to zero are not in our domain right because those are the values that are not going to produce a real number because you can't divide by zero so I apply the zero product property so if x equals negative 3 my denominator is 0 let's try it negative 3 plus 3 is 0 0 times anything is 0 so negative 3 is not in the domain everybody agree with me over here I try to solve but what happens is I come into a problem because under the real number system I can't take the square root of a negative 3 Yes, we learned. Um, yes, we learned in quadratics. We learned about i, right? But ladies and gentlemen, the implied domain says for what real numbers can we plug into the function and get back a real number? I is not a real number, right? So even though plus or minus three i will make our denominator zero. That's not a part of our definition. It's only for what real numbers can we plug in that are not going to produce something. So we don't really care about this. So now we have our domain is all real numbers except x cannot equal 3. However, there is another restriction. And that other restriction was any number under a square root or a even radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. We just can't take the square root of negative numbers, correct? So our second constraint, anything that's under a radical, doesn't matter if the radical is in the numerator or in the denominator, anytime you have something under a radical, Joseph, could you not be doing that for this moment? Anytime you have something in the radical, you're going to be doing, you're going to set it 2 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So we have our two constraints. Whatever numbers are in the denominator, you have to set equal to 0 and solve. Those numbers are not in our domain. Any number that's under a radical, you have to set greater than or equal to zero. Those are the only values that are going to be in your domain. When I go ahead and solve, I just add x to the other side. I have two is greater than or equal to x. Rewrite that as x is less than or equal to two. So this is telling me what is defined. This tells me what is not defined. Does everybody see that? That tells me what, what the number can't be. This tells me what the numbers can be. And again, when you're writing in domain, I like to just kind of create a nice little graph. And you can just pick a number line. Because the domain is only the x values, right? That's all we care about. The domain is only the x values. So there's 0. So x cannot equal negative 3. So at negative 3, there's a hole or an asymptote, right? But our, our defined, the values that our function is defined, if our function is greater than, um, greater than 2, it's not defined. Let's try that. What if I plugged in 3? 2 minus 3 is? Negative 1. Can you take the square root of negative 1 for real numbers? No. So it has to be all numbers that are equal to 2, but our um, x is less than or equal to 2. So it looks something like that, right? So it's all values that are less than 2, that don't equal negative 3, but then continue on. So how do we write our domain? Well, our domain is going to look like this. Negative infinity all the way to how far? Negative 3. Doesn't, can't equal negative 3, so we have to use parentheses. And then from negative 3 to how far? Sorry, positive 2, right? Now, can it equal 2? Yes, brackets. 
front two, front two, front two. How do we connect these? Union. Anybody have any questions on that? Okay. One of the more confusing 